Um, so today I just did some, well, for the past few weeks, uh, I've been doing some little adjustments, little mods to XCOM 2, because I wanted to change things up if I was going to do another run. Didn't want to just do another vanilla run, obviously. Didn't want to do just a vanilla run with, you know, one or two things added. I wanted to change up the feel a bit. Um, so what I've done, and I'm going to I'm gonna talk about, try to talk about it just once here, and then play the game, because I don't want to get bogged down and talking about it all the time. Try to just talk about it one time, and then get on with life. What I've done with XCOM 2 World Chosen this time around, uh, is I've done something I've talked about before, uh, and I put it into practice here. Which is, the thing about XCOM soldiers, is whenever you, your soldiers level up and when they die, power tends to be middle to later loaded. All your big abilities in all XCOM and all XCOM mods I've ever played tend to be, you know, you hit Sergeant, you hit Major, you hit Colonel, or uh, Master Sergeant if you're playing Long War. Uh, that's where you get your big power perks, generally like rapid fire, action economy perks let you shoot more, shit like that. Um, so what I've done this time around is I've flipped that on its head. Uh, I've made it so that there's only one class for XCOM. I left in the hero classes, the Templars, the Reapers, the Skirmishers. I left in Sparks, which I never really got to use yet. Uh, I've left in um, Psy, uh, all that stuff. But the actual XCOM soldier classes, there's only one now. There's only one class. Uh, and that one class doesn't have any abilities in it at all that grant you extra action economy. I don't think. I shouldn't have, because that was the point. So there's no there's no perks that are like, shoot twice, there's no rapid fire, there's no, uh, you know, kill zone, there's no hail of bullets guaranteed hits or anything like that. Um, none of that shit. It's more like side grades and passive upgrades. Like for example, I think one of the ranks is you can pick up walk fire, for example, which is like flush about the flushing. It's like plus 30% to hit, but minus 50% damage, right? Or instead you can pick Deadeye, minus to hit, plus damage, right? But I mean, that, that's about as severe as it gets, and I think it's only on one rank. And in general it's stuff like, you know, Executioner, uh, maybe you can pick up Low Profile later on. But it's generally meant to be stuff that doesn't make the soldiers in a straight up, like, it doesn't let them, it doesn't force them to do things that a normal rookie or squatty soldier couldn't also probably do in the right circumstance. It just makes it the more flexible, more reliable at doing that stuff easier to do it, if that makes sense. However, and someone just said, won't this make the hero class a stupid OP? However, and they might, this isn't, this isn't really properly balanced or anything. I haven't sincerely balanced any of this. This is just having fun. The main thing is that this one class can use all the weapon types. LMGs, ARs, shotguns, sniper rifles, pistols, sawn off shotguns, combat knives for secondaries. Uh, can use all the classes. Uh, can use all the weapons, sorry. And, the weapons have the perks. So assault rifles have light em up. Uh, every, all the weapons that are auto fire have suppression. Assault rifles have light em up. LMGs have cyclic fire. Uh, sniper rifles have the, the loose abrasion sniper, the return of the loose abrasion sniper set up and set up squad, squad side. Uh, shotguns have close combat specialist. Shit like that. Combat knives have combatives, which let you parry with them. Uh, stuff like that. So basically the idea is that this is hopefully a foundation to lose a lot more soldiers without the campaign being as brittle. It's basically this kind of thing of your your weapons provide the you know the action economy, the I get to shoot more than once in it in the game called XCOM uh, kind of things, and they provide different ways of doing it to kind of suit their role. Soldiers leveling up gives you more aim, obviously, still. But even that, even the aim is front loaded. Now it's you know maybe the first level up is six plus six aim, the second one is plus five. Plus four, plus three, plus two, plus one. Uh, so it's basically that getting bigger and bigger, getting higher and higher rank, it's still helpful, but it's not the be all and end all. You don't, hopefully, you don't need kernels uh, in the late game. You know, if you want them, but if you lose them, it's not the end of the world because the idea is to front load the power and then have it work like that, basically. Front load the power so that then you can use lower level troops later on, which means if you can lose people, uh, if you lose people, it's not so bad, right? Um, apart from that, I won't go into everything I did, but I did some rough, rough balancing here or there, not very much. Gave the advent more, uh, health and damage in general. Um, one big thing is I put the squad size to 8 from the start. I like that about Beyond Impossible, how there's no squad size upgrades. 
So it's just going to be eight. Again, front loading. So it's just going to be eight from the start throughout the whole campaign. No upgrades. Um, and then in response, I doubled all of the enemies in all the missions. So all the pods should be twice as big. Uh, whether or not the mod actually literally just doubles every enemy or whether it's more nuanced than that. Uh, there's twice as many enemies. So we'll see how that goes. Um, there should be anyway. I don't know how it works on Gatecrasher, but there should be in general. Even before Gatecrasher box strats. Um, so yeah. It's gonna be interesting. Now this... This isn't sincerely balanced. You know, I'm not gonna come at you and say, This is Escalation 2! Beagle Rush's new hit genius mod! Operator Chrome 2019! Like, this isn't... This isn't like that. Um, you know, I've been... I only just got this working yesterday. This was this was CTDing like constantly for me until yesterday. Uh, I've spent fucking days and weeks modding this at this point. Uh, I'm just happy it works. I'm just happy it doesn't crash. I'm just here to have some fun. Uh, it's not extremely balanced. I think I've tested up to like two missions into a campaign. Uh, so yeah, it might be terrible. Uh, it, it might be super unbalanced. It might snowball real quick. I don't know. Uh, but in general, I'm expecting it to be I'm expecting, if anything, for the difficulty curve to be reversed. Usually it's hard early, easier late. With this, because all your power is front-loaded, I'm kind of expecting... Uh, I'm kind of expecting it to be easier early, because we're gonna have light em up and shit on the guns. We're gonna have more perks early, and then as we get into late game and there's still twice as many enemies in every pot, I'm expecting it to kind of be like... Oh, like... We're not really gaining a lot more power at this point, but the aliens sure are, so... If anything, I expect it to get harder as we go on and be much easier early. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Apart from that, uh, line of play shouldn't be on anymore. I have yellow alert gameplay if you've ever played Long War 2. Yellow alert is where the aliens kind of hear what's going on and they can see dead bodies of their friends. Uh, and they can kind of do some actions like sectoids can raise zombies before they're activated. Uh, we have uh, yeah, yellow alerts uh, actions on as well in that if aliens activate on you, in the alien turn, not your turn, if you don't activate them, if they come and activate into you, they patrol into you, they have a percentage chance to do actions on their turn, they might shoot you on that turn, so you gotta be careful of your flanks. Uh, sometimes they will activate on you from the left and they will start shooting your flank dudes, it's not great uh, for you, so you gotta be really careful of that. I'm still not used to playing all of this by the way, because like I said, I played like two missions in, so I'm probably gonna be bad at playing it too, but all of it should be interesting. Are uh, we gonna raffle names for this by the way? We're gonna raffle off names for this one, just like we were doing with the old XCOM campaigns uh, a few weeks ago, a few months ago. What we've been starting to do with Long War, so get your raffles ready. Don't raffle yet, but we'll be raffling names in for this one. Uh, and last of all, I have of course- there's your raffles. Last of all, of course, I, uh, I have done a little bit of cosmetic modding of the weapons and the outfits we'll be wearing this time around. The hero soldiers that you start with one of in a War of Distress campaign, I have outfits for them too, to make them fit more into the tack aesthetic. Uh, but of course, they won't have it for the first mission. The uniform mod doesn't work for auto-applying it to uh, heroes. So I'll have to do that manually, if the hero survives, which I assume they will. Um, also, I felt like it was a little too easy in my testing, so I, I did bump up the pod numbers. Before it was like 1.8 multiplier on the enemy pods. I bumped it up to 2, literally before I turned the stream on and haven't tested it. So, maybe it'll be... I don't know. I don't know how this mod works. Maybe that'll be the straw that breaks the camel's back. I don't know, but we'll... Like I said, this is not stringently balanced, we're just having some fun. I would turn on uh, double effort mission timers, uh, which I felt was really necessary because, for one, I fucking hate timers, and I've beaten a vanilla water chosen campaign, so fuck you. Uh, for two, <laughs> for two, um, the, the fights seem to take longer with this setup. It's a lot more of digging and fight. There's no grenadiers anymore, there's no grenade launchers. Uh, you can take shitloads of grenades and shit, but counts. you can't throw them as far, and it didn't have as much damage and have as big a range, so... You do a lot less of, like, blowing up cover, and you do a lot more of just shooting, so it takes a lot longer. Uh, precision explosives, yep, nerf grenades, long war style. And alternate bleed-out mechanics is a mod that basically makes it so, uh, your bleed-out chance is based on the overkill. So if you... If you, uh, for example, if you have a soldier and they have 5 health and they take 5 damage, they have a really good chance to be bleeding out. Uh, because they didn't take much overkill. If you have a soldier who has 1 health and they take 10 damage, they will almost never bleed out. Because they're fucking McDead. So it's an interesting mod. I think it's a cool... I think it's a cool setup. Got that on, got Legend on, got subtitles on, because I know you guys love your subtitles. We've of course got the beautiful new Legacy Pack soundtrack. And 
and yeah, I think that's it. And now it's all gonna crash. Now that it's live on stream, it's just gonna crash.